Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be talking to you about the next few releases that we hope to see coming from Apple in uh, the coming days or weeks. First, I'm going to be talking about iOS 6.1.2. According to a German language blog iPhone, the release of this new software update will be coming on Wednesday, January 20th. Uh, that's this, this coming Wednesday. And it will be released to address uh, certain security fixes, such as the lock screen bug, um, that we uh, posted in, about in our last video, or the Exchange bug that several people have encountered that causes people using uh, Microsoft Exchange mailboxes to drain a lot of battery and actually have devices that are overheating. So uh, Apple will be releasing the software update, like I said, Wednesday, January 20th, and obviously if you are running iOS 6.1 or any any software version that is jailbroken with evasion, do not update to this when it is released. We will be waiting for a statement from the uh, evaders on whether or not this is safe to update. It's possible that because Apple is releasing this to address specific bug fixes, it will actually be safe to update just like 6.1.1 was. But as always, wait and check back on jailbreaknation.com and our YouTube channel. Uh, we will make sure we update you the second that we find out if it is jailbreakable or not. But for now, just sit tight and hopefully on Wednesday, January 20th, we will see the fixes for these bugs released. In terms of other upcoming releases from Apple, a job listing was recently posted on their site that asked for a manager to bring next generation features to the Apple TV. Now for a long time people have talked about how the Apple TV is underutilized because even though it runs iOS, there's no equivalent for the App Store on the Apple TV. You can jailbreak it um, currently, but there isn't a whole lot of active development on it, so hopefully we will be see at, we will be seeing Apple use the Apple TV more to its full extent, um, but until more news comes of that, we can't really know what Apple is bringing in its next generation. It could be some brand new software features, or we could be seeing a whole new redesigned device. Lastly, in a report that is, at least for now, still in rumor territory, there's been circulating talk about Apple uh, inventing or developing some sort of iWatch device, a wearable device. Um, device that would have a display you could read directly on your wrist. Um, this, this has been a rumor for a long time, um, and a lot of people have uh, been hoping that Apple releases something like that, but uh, for the first time we have a report from a very reputable source. The New York Times uh, has stated definitively that they have heard from their sources that Apple will be releasing some sort of iWatch or it is at least in the early stages of development right now. So I personally think that would be uh, very cool and uh, we have heard that uh, high up ap Apple executives are very interested in wear wearable devices so I think it's highly plausible that we will be at least seeing some more hard evidence of this in the near future. But that co covers the current state of what we're expecting to see from Apple in the near future. That's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.